Hey everybody, Jazzy here, and today I'm very excited to share with you a guide on my new favorite method in Don't Starve Hamlet for amassing an absolutely ridiculous amount of oinks in a relatively short time. This information is as of the Apocalypse update in early access and subject to change in the full release of the DLC. Now, this update that added the Apocalypse event to the game also introduced the Ends Well, a naturally spawning structure that can be found in the ancient pig ruins which also contain the Apocalypse calendar. This structure is a colossal, game-changing addition to the game, adding to Hamlet a renewable source of nightmare fuel and, more importantly, purple gems. Discovering the Ends Well involves some extensive exploration which I will walk you through right now. Starting from your spawn island, look for the poisonous biome which can usually be found within a deep jungle. Walking through the biome will sap your health at an alarming rate and a gas mask is essential for traversing. For this reason, it is recommended to wait on making this trek until the second temperate season which starts around day 35. This is a good time to travel to the ruins containing the Apocalypse calendar regardless because you will absolutely want to learn the location of the calendar in order to stop the Apocalypse event from triggering on day 61. The poisonous biome will contain one or two ruinous entrances. The one you want to enter is the entrance with a statue of the Herald on top. Travel through these ruins until you find an exit which will lead to the fifth island. For our purposes, I will refer to it as the Herald Island. Once outside, explore the island until you discover another ruinous entrance containing a statue of the Herald, typically located in another deep forest. The entrance will be treacherous, surrounded by numerous snap-toothed flytraps and seedlings. Take the time to clear the entrance as you will be revisiting these ruins often. Then when you are ready, enter the ruins and proceed to map out the interior. It's a pretty large maze and might take a while. But eventually, you will find a room with the ends well. It will look different from other wishing wells as the fluid inside will be black instead of clear. Take time to clear this room of enemies and place down a light source such as a fire pit if possible. You will be doing a lot of fighting in here. When you are ready, grab a weapon and armor and start to feed the well one oink at a time. Each coin placed will spawn a nightmare creature. Proceed to fight these guys and collect the nightmare fuel they drop. Nightmare creatures have a 150% drop rate for fuel. And from my experience, this means that they will drop one piece of fuel with a 50% chance of dropping one additional piece. You can see that for my 10 oinks, I got back 15 pieces of fuel, so the math seems to make sense. Now comes the fun part. Feed the nightmare fuel back into the ends well and make it rain purple gems. Each piece of fuel dropped will give you one to three purple gems. How overpowered is that? So for 15 nightmare fuel, you can expect to collect between 15 and 45 purple gems, most likely netting somewhere around 30. You can then take these gems to a banker pig and trade for 10 piece oinks. If you are feeling lazy, you can bring a key to the city and build a general store right outside of the ruins. The shopkeep will always be a banker pig and you can do your trading right there. Are you seeing this? I just turned 10 oinks into 270 oinks via exchange through the ends well. The presence of this structure in the same place as the Apocalypse calendar makes these ancient ruins one of the most important locations in the game, if not the most important. And we will most likely see a proliferation of base and city building on the Herald Island among Hamlet players. Once you make this island safe, you can conceivably set up everything you would ever need for survival all in one place, with an absolutely overpowered source of gems and oinks right under your feet. I am convinced that this is the new meta for Hamlet survival, and I look forward to pursuing this new technique in my own playthroughs to see just how long it takes to get the whole thing up and running. Until then, I hope you have found this guide useful, and please share your own experiences with this location in the comments. Thanks for watching, and see you next time!